Hi, I'm Eileen Druckenmiller, and I'm an artist and an art therapist, and the founder of Life's Journey Art Therapy Center in Hoosick Falls, and this is my cat. The theme for my cat amount comes from um, the song called Good Morning Starshine, which was a hit in 1969 uh, from the musical Hair. And I was trying to think of something that was kind of a feel-good image, something that people would enjoy to look at. And I remember the song from watching Sesame Street, the first season, and Bob McGrath singing it. So when I thought of that song, I tried to think of how I could pictorially show it in my catamount. Uh, I consulted. I've never done a moose or a cat or anything like this before. I'm actually more of a watercolor artist, so this was definitely a little bit of a switch for me. And I did consult with some of the artists who had done moose in the past. And not really using anything overly special, just using some different acrylics um, that have different transparencies, different uh, levels of um, what's called full body. They're very strong in color. So you'll notice that as they get it completed, there will be some different uh, techniques throughout it as far as brush strokes and I ended up taking a more painterly kind of um, feel for it in the bottom because that just seemed to work better. So kind of feeling it out as I go along. I think that um, besides the size, and it is taking uh, a while to do and complete, is that it is not a two-dimensional piece of paper that I'm working on and not a flat surface. So trying to take into consideration the actual shape of the cat and the rock that he's on and also trying to work within um, the realm of, you know, when you get it, even though he has this nice coating on him and even though I've just sewed part of it, there's still some little dips and little, um, little segments here where you really need to make sure that you're getting the paint in or you're going to have white spots all over the place. So that's been very different for me. Well, I was really excited to get to participate in this one, and I think it'll be great once he's done and he's out and people are able to see it and get reactions from it, because I think that art is about, um, about sharing and about um, taking something that you create and sharing it with others. So uh, for me, I'm really looking forward to that part of the experience once he's done. Um, and I, would, I think that in the, in the future, I would like to do something like this again. Again, it's been a little bit of a stretch for me from working on you know, pieces of paper and working within water media, but uh, it's also been a lot of fun. Uh, my cat is actually gonna be located on the grounds of Southwestern Vermont Medical Center. I'm not sure exactly where they're gonna put him yet, probably somewhere towards the front door. Things, I'm hoping that different parts will appeal to different people for different reasons. So some might take a look at the night sky and maybe see that it kind of relates to like a Van Gogh kind of painterly technique. Um, others might take a look at the sun, which is in process, and just really like, you know, the bright color and that coming out. And just, or some might like the overall thing where it goes from dark to light. And it kind of, for me, kind of reminds me of the sun coming up in the morning and the start of a new day. So um, for myself, I'm kind of, so far I'm liking the sense of the sun and the bright sun coming out. And also I'm having a little fun with it because since the song is from the 1960s, I think it'll have a little bit of a 60s kind of vibe to it too. Okay, so my plan is, and we'll see how it goes, is the, to then develop into a lighter green, uh, more of a yellowish green, and then up into a lighter, lighter, lighter yellow, up into here. Uh, I've got some, probably some orange uh, parts of the sun here to do. And then your kind of 60s style flowers will be in different colors like a magenta, and a bright yellow and uh, teal blue, kind of bright, happy colors again. And his tail will evolve up into the uh, lighter, lighter green into the yellow. And um, his head, as we get to that, I'll kind of play that by ear, do some more realistic pieces, his eyes, his mouth, and then also still kind of combine using the, um, the different bright colors that I'm using. Yeah, I guess my wish would just be that it goes to somebody who um, enjoys it and would appreciate it. And hopefully it'll be someplace where they can share it with other people too.